Hello guys, and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. Today, I just in the title of the video, we're looking at a holster from the guys at Falco Holsters. They do make a lot of leather type style holster, inside the waist, outside the waist, chest rigs, you name it, they pretty much got us. This has been in business since 1989. And they make some great quality holster. I've done reviews, a lot of other offers as well. There's more to come for those guys, just to show you what they have available. Now, this is going to be a Chicks rig type style holster. And as you can see, it's made out of Italian leather, great quality, uh, very nice leather quality. They do have some stuff that you can um, put into your leather to kind of speed up the break in period. Uh, but you can get that also from those guys. Again, they do make some Codex holsters as well. They review one of their outside the way holsters. Uh, but again, check out the website. I'll link in down below for any type of holster you're looking for. Now for this chest rig, they do have uh, right-handed or left-handed. It does come with a detachable mag pouch here, which is, you can see is you can switch it up or down, however you want to carry. It does have a snap-in um, strap on on top, as well as the holster. You can uh, strap it on here securely. So this is uh, more geared towards hunters or backpack, truck, hiking, whatever it may be. Just a great way to keep your firearm right in front of you when you need it uh, in case of something happening or animal attack or anything like that. Um, you know, some people like this stuff to carry as everyday carry, but again, you only uh, limit it to how you can carry this because due to the weather change and everything, you might want to have a jacket or something over it um, to be able to carry this. Now, it does have a nylon adjustable strap here around the chest or the waist area you want to carry, and it's also adjustable on the uh, top strap here, which I'm a short guy and I have it pretty much almost limited to where it needs to go to fit my size uh, Body and everything and of course adjustable strap here. So again, you unbuckle the strap And if you're right-handed you stick your left hand to the strap right here and kind of grab this strap here and again, you just buckle it up to this right here and again, you can adjust it. Put this camera a little bit down so you can see. So you can adjust it to your liking and your size or your body. And again, you can have it right here in front of you. Uh, they call it chest rig to me. <laughs> as far as I can adjust it up, it's gonna be more right here in my, right above my dominant uh, size here where I'm, I'm adjusted to. But either way, you have a way to draw your weapon a lot of people don't like this. Again, it's just a preference thing, but just wanted to bring you this type of holster. A lot of people, some people like this. Again, it'll be great for hiking, uh, kind of, you know, give you a better comfortable way to carry your firearm. Again, if you do some hunting, uh, carry some kind of backup pistol while you're hunting, you know, you have something available right here in front of you. So in case of, you know, needed it, you'll be able to do it. Again, it's got a strap here, which snaps in. And again, you can get this. Uh, available on left or right handed and they do have a printing of uh, available type firearms that make this for uh, the cool thing about this one is it's going to be optic ready so if you do have an optic like a Glock or anything like that uh, you'll be able to you know carry now it's not light compatible some um, holsters may fit certain type of uh, firearms depending on what it is again check the website but again this one is, is uh, optic uh, compatible so you don't have to worry about that also you can just choose the option uh, if you have high suppressors or anything like that so it won't snag and um, you know tear the leather on the inside but on that the inside is real suede, um real soft material type slick so the same way for the uh, mac pouch here and everything else but anyways let's uh, uh, grab a firearm and show you what fits in it as well as what I'm gonna be using just to draw and kind of demonstrate uh, you know, mag chains I'm not going to do because YouTube doesn't really like it. It's kind of finicky right now, but a lot of people still say that it's okay to do it, but I'm not going to do it. But you do have a mag pouch here uh, to be able to carry extra mag if you need so. And again, uh, this is geared more to the Glock 21. So if you got 21 or anything below, it's going to fit. Again, with a high suppressor, 
make sure you choose the option to be able to uh, carry an optic if you do have an optic or later on whatever and again if you have a compensator the bottom is going to be open so it's going to stick right through us so if you got 19 with a compensator or 17 with a compensator you do so able to carry it in here again uh it will be able to do so because of the opening on the bottom which i really like all right let's step to the range just do some draw from just to show you how well it works and then give my final opinion what i think about this so stay tuned I uh, just want to show you a different type of firearms. Again, this is for the Glock. Uh, I do have the steel frame matrix arms. Uh, make sure to check that video out if you haven't seen it. But it does have an optic, has suppressors, and it goes right on in perfectly. And it snaps in. All right, so as you see, the frame is a little bit different. Let's try a Glock 19. This says 80% arms with the facts and firearm has suppressors. Also has a big optic, as you can see, and a compensator. And again, you are able to carry it very nicely. And again, snaps right in with no problem. Again, let's try a 17 type Glock here frame. This is the Nomad with the optic as well, has suppressors and sights on it. And again, there you go. Works just fine. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and use the Nomad Defense. Step over here a little bit on the range and just take a few shots with it. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so again, a lot of people don't like that type of holsters, but you know, it is what it is, preference. But again, you can bend over. It's not gonna flop or anything like that. I mean, it does flop a little bit. It is gonna move a little bit. It's not gonna be totally secure, but secure enough to be able to carry it. When you do need it, Mac Pal chairs. I got a 17 uh, magazine here and uh, fits just fine, no problem. And it snaps right in. Again, you can unsnap it on the back. It got snaps in it and flip around the other way if you like to carry it that way. But again, this way, it's not gonna fall out. All right, so unsnap, hold the holster and then fire. All right. And you holster right here. So if you need it. There you go. Again. Takes practice. You're not going to be the fastest cowboy out there shooting with this. But again, it's something to have as a backup. Uh, if you do any kind of hunting, just go backwards hunting or trailing. Whatever it may be. You need a firearm or you do fishing. You know, whatever. Your firearm is right here. And you're able to you know, reach it and use it if you need to. Again, it works with this. Again, make sure you pick the option for the optic cut and all that, and you'll be able to run a pistol with a you know, optic in it, all right? So, and you get another bag. Snap this out for the back. And as far as drawing it, it is nice and smooth. Uh, not really any friction. The high suppressor doesn't catch inside. Uh, again, the more you use it, the more you're gonna be, uh, the more the, the leather will wear out. But again, right now, this is meant for Glock 21, so the frame is a little bit bigger. But with this, it still works. If you don't you carry a 21, you can also carry a 17, 19. And again, this is for the Glock style frames. And again, I like it. Again, you can use this. This leather is gonna last. Uh, make sure you take care of your leather, of course. But other than that, ah, miss. Don't have an optic on, just kinda guessing shooting here. But I like it. It draws. There you go. Ah, miss. <laughs> but anyways, uh, other than that, I like it. I uh, wish it had a little more adjustability. I'm not a big guy, but I wish the top strap was a little bit more adjustable because the way this one is made, as you can see, it kind of thins out on both ends. Right there on the back, right here where to adjust it. And then you snap it back through the hole like a belt. <clears throat> and then again, you can adjust the strap here on the side, which is adjustable nylon strap. And again, I like it. Uh, not hard to put on. 
uh, easy to say, but you can take it on and off easily. Again, just undo the buckle right here in the front, and you can take it off and keep your firearm in the holster. You don't have to take it out, and you can hang it up however you want to carry it or whatever. Um, now, it doesn't notice there it doesn't cover the mag release cage which is not going to get pressed or release the mag but other than that again you have the adjustability take that screw out and it you know fits through here it does have a little bit of hangover because again i'm a small size guy again with the snap-on holster here and again you can get this for the left and right handed now as far as the holster goes left and right handed uh i like the quality of it not bad at all and yeah i don't know let me know what you think about chest rigs not many people run them but it's just an option that you can use again if you need to carry a backup you don't like to carry a bunch of stuff around your waist and it's just easy to be able to access you know just a scenario if you do fall or whatever uh you'll pin against something against your back you're able to access your firearm easily again I would not suggest carrying this outside like in public unless you got a jacket and you practice the draw and everything on this uh, i don't know how much concealability you'll be getting out of against with a heavy jacket or something you probably will get away with this and uh you know you got the magazine extra magazine pouch and everything but anyways uh the holster checks rig from falco holsters again check those guys out no really any cons about it just really the adjustability it needs to be a little bit more for my size again it's universal so it's going to be uh depending on what size body you have but for me it needs to be a little bit more adjustable on the shoulder strap for me but uh again uh thank you to Falco holster for sending the holster here the chest rig leather holster for the glock 21 again i used it on the 19 and 17 in here and it works just fine no issues at all again the 21 is a little bigger frame but other than that i like it and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button. There's a membership for this channel. If you'd like to be a member, donate every month. Very little as $1 a month. Or you can uh, go to my links down below. Use the affiliate links. Discount code is way support channel. Big thumbs up if you're new. And make sure to follow me on all social media like Instagram. Uh, make sure to go to Rumble as well. Facebook. Twitter, all that stuff. I'm pretty much everywhere. Make sure to follow me over there for products like this coming on the channel and also giveaways and things that way. So guys, as usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.